we have a, a point charge at the origin, some point charge Q, let's say, at the origin. So I have a charge Q. What is electric flux through a square of side A? Parallel to the YZ plane, whose center is along the x-axis at a distance A over 2. So the center is along the x-axis, and it's at a distance A over 2. So we have a, a square like this. We have a square. The center of the square is here, along the x-axis, and at a distance A over 2. So from here to is A over 2. The square is side A. Side A, the square is side A. So this is side A, and this from here to here is A over 2. What is a flux? Now, it is possible, in fact, to do it by, by brute force. That is, write E. You can say E is Q over 4 pi epsilon 0 R square times R hat. So you pick any point here. It's, it's R. There's R hat radially out. And this is Q. Then you have to, of course, express, you have to take the, to get the flux, you get E times dA. And dA is along the x-axis. And then, of course, R will depend on the point could has coordinates x, y, z. Its x is always A over 2, but y and z will vary. So you end up with, with E dot dA, it depends on y and z. And then you have to integrate over the square. So y goes from minus A over 2 to A over 2. And Z goes from minus A over 2 to A over 2. You can do the integral, and that gives you the flux. However, if we want to use Gauss's law, it would save us a lot of trouble. How? Since this is A over 2, and the side is A, I can, I can continue. I can construct a cube, in fact, can construct a cube of side A, see, and the point charge Q will be at the center. Because remember that Q is above the center of the square and above it by A over 2. So if I construct a cube of side A this way, with sides parallel to the axes, x, y, and z axes, the origin, or the point Q, will be at the center of the cube. If it's at the center of the cube, then it has an electric field, and the electric field goes, the flux of the electric field goes through the six faces of the cube. But since the point charge is at the center, so like imagine a room, which is a cube, the room is a cube, and you have a point charge at the center of the cube. So the point charge produces electric field, which is radial. And this electric field has a flux through each one of the six faces. But because the charge is at the center of the cube, then from symmetry, it's obvious that the flux through each surface is the same as the flux through any other surface. So the six walls, the flux through wall one is the same as the flux through wall two, is the same as the flux through wall three, and so on. So the flux through the whole cube is six times the flux. So flux through the whole cube is equal to six times the flux through one wall.
This is what we want to find, the flux through one wall. So the flux through one wall, phi, is just through one wall, it's just a flux through the cube divided by 6. But what is a flux through the cube? From Gauss's law, it's a charge enclosed divided by epsilon 0. Because it's a closed surface. The cube is a closed surface. If it's a closed surface, then the flux through the closed surface is Q enclosed divided by epsilon 0. What is a Q enclosed? The only charge enclosed is the charge Q at the center. So this is Q over 6 epsilon 0. So you get the flux through the wall without doing any integration, just using Gauss's law. And this is, of course, how it's intended to be solved. But as a check, if you like, you can, as an exercise in integrations and so on, you can actually work it out. And it's doable. You can do it. And you'll end up with the same answer as this one. But you can actually do the integral. And it could be a good exercise, in fact, to go through that and see that you get Q divided by 6 epsilon 